Hi, my name is Shikha Grover and I'm a product manager here at Cisco. I work with the Cisco Web Security Appliance and Security Management Appliance. This is an update on the revisions made to System Health Dashboard on uh, Async OS 14.0. So why uh, the SMA System Health Dashboard? Uh, System Health Dashboard on the SMA was introduced to provide the admins with an interface to keep a check on the health status of all the WSAs in the network in a single dashboard. Uh, admins can find out if all the WSAs are up and running, if there are any critical or warning alerts on any of the services running on these WSAs, thus making sure that you're always aware of the health of any proxy at any given time in the network. Let me take you to an SMA box and show you uh, what I'm talking about. So when you log into the next generation uh, GUI, uh, you select web on top of the page it brings you to this page and you have a blue color panel you can select system health on the left hand side and this is basically the system health dashboard uh, this page uh, has information like proxy name hardware and services tab for different type of critical and warning alerts you can also check uh, uh, peak rps peak decrypted rps client connection server connection etc so this information is very handy and important when troubleshooting performance issues on a box or to figure out a trend. For example, if the numbers go up during a particular time of the day or if there is more load on one proxy than the others, you can check the trends and compare to find out the reasons for the differences and troubleshoot a particular box. Um, you can choose to filter data on the based on these three time ranges, day, yesterday and a custom range. Uh, system health dashboard can show up to one week's uh, data which you can choose to view from the custom range here however if you added a wsa to this sma only yesterday then only one day's data would be available um, you also have an option to hide the traffic summary uh, admins can choose to click the checkbox and filter to see only the proxy name and hardware and services tab. The right hand side of the screen will be totally hidden. You can uh, you also have the option to sort uh, the information about these proxies uh, based on the proxy name. So if I click this proxy name, you will see the order changing. So you can arrange it in ascending or descending order as per your requirement. Um, you there might be instances when you have multiple boxes some customers are using 35 40 boxes and it's, it's difficult to figure out by arranging this in ascending or descending order so you can simply just type in the name of the particular box and look for information for that particular box right um, uh, next we have is uh, yeah uh, so we can filter the data based on critical or warning alerts as well so if I choose to click critical I will see only boxes with critical alerts and if I choose to see only warning messages I will see the boxes with warning messages on them only uh, next uh, we have is um, when you click on these icons the warning icons or the critical icons there will be a pop-up which will be displayed and you have the uh, alert messages on that particular service name of the service and the alert message and the time timeline for that message if you go ahead and click on the name of uh, that service uh, you will uh, have another pop-up with timestamps, log level, alert messages along with the recipient of that alert message. Uh, the selected alert will be highlighted in blue color. If you click on uh, the critical alert again, you see that you have uh, go to this particular WSA here. If you click this particular uh, uh, hyperlink, it will take you to this WSA for you to troubleshoot further. It takes about uh, six to seven minutes for the SMA to pull the information from the WSAs, process it and represent it on the system health dashboard. Uh, the SMA can keep up to 4000 alerts for a particular device at any given time or for seven days, whichever is reached first. This brings us to the end of my video. Uh, thank you for your time. In case you have any queries, please reach out to wsa-pm at cisco.com or wsa-tme at cisco.com. Thank you.